Bull Terriers are naturally loyal and amazing breed of dogs. There's a common saying that goes, not every person would know how to love a dog. But every Bull Terrier would know how to love a person. Bull Terriers are tagged magical creations. Are you wondering why? To help clear the doubts, we have put together all about Bull Terriers that you need to know. So watch this video until the end so you can get all the relevant details. But before we get into the video, like and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you won't miss out any of our videos. First, I would like to take you back to the history of the Bull Terrier in the 19th century. The animal fight was a kind of sport and entertainment. People enjoyed watching dog fights during their leisure hours. The breeders did not hesitate to form new breeds as a way of progressing this sport. In 1835, James Hinks, a Birmingham breeder, decided to crossbreed bulldogs and the extinct English White Terriers. He came up with an amazing white dog breed called Bull Terriers. The species was loved by all. It was commonly used in the tea dog arena and for dog TV shows. Since then, crossbreeding hunting terriers have developed other colors. However, animal fights were banned by the Animal Act in 1835. Bull terriers are currently used as pets, more of a companion and a show dog than a service dog. So it is okay for you to say bull terriers are the relatives of bulldogs and terriers because they are a crossbreed between both species. From its distinct features, Spotting a bull terrier is very easy. Its look is unique, just like every other dog species. It has a long, flat head, shaped like an egg, triangular-shaped small eyes that also give it away at a glance. The body of a bull terrier is short and broad, with muscular shoulders. It has a horizontal look. Overall, the bull terrier has a flat look, a long face, and upright ears. Like most of the other dog breeds, they have excellent teeth. It can be maintained by simply brushing them twice a week with recommendations from a veterinarian. For cleaning, it is advisable to bathe it and clean the ears weekly. Bull Terriers possess big bones. It is visible from their movements. They are always very agile. It comes with white, white with markings, and other varieties like a fawn, tricolor, red and white, and black brindle. The male Bull Terrier grows slightly larger than the female in height and weight alike. It has a lifespan span of 10 to 14 years. However, a bull terrier could exceed this number of years if it gets maximum care and attention. If you are worried about finding its hairs in your cushion all the time, then you might be thinking wrong. Bull terriers have short, strong furs, so they do not shed too much. Frequent baths or a wipe with a damp cloth also helps this dog stay healthy and live longer. People love bull terriers for their temper. The bull terrier can be sweet and stubborn at the same time. They are always keen to learn new things, which makes them trainable even within the home. It is a very independent dog breed, especially when gotten at the puppy stage. They love fun activities and are very courageous. They tend to be very protective of their owners, adults, and kids alike. They are stable with adults and children, although a new dog owner should not get a bull terrier without some form of orientation and training. Their agile nature makes them active around the clock. A bull terrier can become destructive out of boredom if left unattended for some time. It also takes a lot of patience and consistency to train a bull terrier. Keeping it active with vigorous exercises is a good line of action in grooming this dog. Daily outdoor exercises help the bull terrier stay less active when indoors. However, it is relevant to keep these exercises within a fenced space or compound if possible. They make an excellent pet and family dog. Just like we mentioned earlier, it was originally bred to be a fighter. It makes some people feel that it is dangerous, but bull terriers are fun-loving, friendly, and sweet. It is better to take them out to socialize with other people and pets in the neighborhood early enough. Generally, it is not advisable to merge a bull terrier and other pets in the same space or home. One of the frequent questions 
questions people ask before getting a Bull Terrier is if they do have OCD, which is obsessive compulsory disorder that is a symptom of CCD or canine compulsive disorder in Bull Terriers. It stirs up the chemical and physical changes to its brain. It leads to a change in the behavior of the dogs and this happens in so many ways. Some regular display of OCD in a Bull Terrier is cycling, tail and shadow chasing. While this goes on, the Bull Terrier paces continuously, not minding its surrounding space and objects. You will also notice frequent self-licking and self-mutilation. Sometimes, it gets so intense that it can hurt itself in the process. OCD can, however, be treated and controlled by increased exercises that wear out the dog's energy. A veterinarian will also advise you to reduce the dog's stress, remove any reinforcements, if possible, administer behavior modification drugs when necessary. Aside from the OCD, the Bull Terrier can also suffer sudden deafness. No one completely understands why a dog will go deaf from one minute to the next. Dogs undergo degenerative nerve changes, old age disease, tumors, or ruptured eardrums. Ear infections from a wax buildup and excess hair in the ear can also lead to deafness in the Bull Terrier. Currently, there is no well-known cure for dog deafness, but some vets tried to treat ear infections to see if they can aid better hearing and prevent overall deafness. Research has shown that it is normal for a dog to start losing their hearing at about 13 years old. Some do, but some others do not go completely deaf. Bull Terriers are prone to atopic dermatitis, an allergic skin disease that is common with the breed. It starts with mild itching that later becomes severe. The non-stop itching leads to skin damage, infection, sores, rashes, and discomfort. This affects mainly the belly area, the ears, feet, and other folds of the skin. Atopic dermatitis is controlled with antibiotics, antifungal, or immunomodulatory medications. They are available for a prescription at your vet clinic in the form of pills or injections. Now that we have mentioned all of these, it is relevant to note that a bull terrier is not one to bark for no reason. It is advisable to pay attention when you hear your dog bark. It might just be waving a red flag that something is probably wrong, someone else in your home, or the environment. Bull Terriers are not exactly cheap to acquire. Their prices are a little over the moon because the public considers them dangerous dogs. For this reason, the regulation standards of their breeding and ownership have risen. Bull Terriers are wise enough to know when their good behavior is approved and when a bad one attracts punishment. They love to swim, and this dog breed makes an excellent swimmer with regular training. Sometimes, they love to seek your attention, not being mindful that its owner might be busy at the time. It is okay for you to ignore any behavior from your Bull Terrier that you don't like. It feels wonderful to be with a Bull Terrier. No wonder celebrities like Taylor Swift prefers this breed. This dog species come in two varieties, the standard in miniature sizes. The standard Bull Terrier grows until it reaches 22 inches in height and a weight of 60 pounds. The miniature version gets to 14 inches and weighs about 33 pounds. Aside from its size, there is no other difference between the standard and miniature Bull Terrier. They both possess the same fearless character. People mistake the Pit Bull Terrier for the Bull Terrier. This mix-up happens all the time, even amongst people who happen to know the breed so well. Although it appears they both belong to the same terrier family because of their names, a pit bull is the name of a dog, commonly known as the American Pit Bull Terrier. Then a bull terrier is a term used to identify a dog breed. The pit bull originated from the United States. It was bred for the purpose of being used as a service dog. There is no record of the pit bull being registered with the FCI. The bull terrier, on the other hand, has its origin in England and was registered in 1962 by the FCI and is more of a pet and a companion than a service dog. These are all you need to know about the Bull Terrier. Have you ever encountered one up close and personal? What was your experience? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. Thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one.